My grandfather, Bob Gomez, or Poppy to me, was born on October 19, 1940, in Fort Worth, Texas. When I first asked him what two major events have shaped him into the man he is today, he quickly and excitedly replied, Easy, my marriage and my baptism. But after a long day of reminiscing and learning about my grandfather's life, I learned that these two events are really one and the same. My grandparents met in college. Poppy was at school at A&M, and my Nana was at school at North Texas State. Having been set up by a mutual friend, they began writing each other until my Nana transferred to ACU to be closer to Poppy. Though their parents weren't too happy about the relationship, they fought to stay together until their senior year of college when he decided to take the plunge and ask her to marry him. Because their families weren't supportive of their decision, there was a total of five people at their wedding. They were married in a Catholic church in College Station and soon were pregnant with my Aunt Gina. And not too long after that, they had my mom and the youngest, Lisa. I asked Poppy what his life looked at, like before my Nana came into it, and he described a life unlike anything I would have pictured. My grandfather, for as long as I can remember, has been absolutely adored by anyone he has ever met. He is kind, gentle, goofy, and incredibly faithful. But he was not like this before Nana. He described a life of wild college years, having too much fun, and being extremely carefree. He has always been an outgoing and loving man, but he lived a much different lifestyle than he did after my grandma sent him on the straight and narrow. He claims that my Nana changed him into the man so many people love and respect today, and without her, he would have been completely lost in a world that did not know who Christ was. Myself, along with everyone in my family, and anyone who had the privilege to know my Nana, was affected greatly by her. She showed us how to love without ceasing, how to pursue Christ in all we do, and ultimately, how to encourage people greater than anyone I knew. My family would not look even slightly familiar without my grandmother bringing a faith and relationship with God into it, and I am so very grateful for that amazing gift. My grandfather grew up in a very strong Catholic family, but never truly had a faith of his own. From the day they met, my Nana was the one to attempt to get Poppy to attend church with her, and after having the three girls, this desire for her husband to be the man she knew he could be grew. Nana was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease, or cancer, when my mom was six years old. This shook my grandfather's world. They ended up having to move from El Capulco, Mexico, to Houston, Texas, to be close to the MD Anderson Treatment Center there because of the severity of her cancer. This is where Poppy's faith came alive. He said he was stripped of any securities he once had. He had to move job positions to one with lower salary, medical bills were constantly coming in, and he didn't know if the family he had would remain whole. He learned to rely on something greater in this time. One night when sitting at home watching TV, he had the sudden urge that he wanted to get baptized. Nana called their pastor and he met them up at the church to baptize my grandfather. He remembered thinking, that he thought this decision would change everything that was happening to him and Anna. It didn't, but he learned that Christ does not take away challenges or hard times, but makes them possible to go through because you have someone greater to rely on. My grandfather's decision to accept Christ into his life has built the backbone for our family. He has shown us how to accept those around us without judgment and without fear, and shown us what a servant-hearted being is. My grandfather is a beacon for so many that encounter him throughout their life. He is all that I hope to be when I grow up and who I strive to be like every day. Because my grandfather chose to live his life for Christ and taught his daughters and eight grandchildren to do the same, I've been able to see what living a life full of purpose and full of joy looks like. My faith and spiritual journey would not be what it is today without my grandparents. They have sown the seed that will continue to grow for the rest of my life and have produced in me a longingness to mirror Christ in all I do.